Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Did you go out today? No. You Yesterday stay I, I went to the Super Selectors. Oh, okay. You did shopping. Yes. Mm. Y aquí en la pop -up estaba súper lleno. Me sentí súper incómoda. Where, where do you live? I live in La Troncal del Norte. Ajá. Uh -huh. But And you went, went to, to a pop -up. Yes. Was there a lot of people? Yes. Okay. How much time did you, did you spend at the supermarket? Like what? One hour. One hour. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, usually, well, it depends on the time of the day that you go. But usually, if you go to any supermarket, there is a good possibility that you're going to have to be in line before you go in. Now, there is another line when you want to pay, and that's a second line. So you need to have at least one hour just for waiting, just for waiting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Hello, Maria. Maria, Maria. Okay. Uh, did you receive the message about the paperwork to be in the next level? Yes, but I have a question. Yeah. Because I don't have a computer. Uh huh. So I can, I can. Oh. Imprimir. Print. I can print. Okay. And Cyber's Cafe are closed? No. Maybe you can try in a Cyber Cafe. And then how can I give? Uh, honestly, I haven't, I haven't read, I haven't received uh, what the instructions are. But for what I understand, one of the advantages is that physically you don't need to go anywhere. I understand, but I, mm -hmm. I have to confirm first. But that's the idea that you guys don't have to travel anywhere for the paperwork. I think that all the process can be done online, but I'm not sure. Uh-huh, and I think the, the cyber cafe, uh -huh. it isn't working. Okay. It doesn't working. Yeah, I, I think they are, maybe if you are lucky, maybe you can, um, you can find one open. Maybe you have, uh, maybe you find one. Or maybe a family member that has a printer maybe. No. Okay. Uh, le let me ask and let me go, let me get more details about um, what exactly the process is. Okay. Yep. All right. So today is April 2nd. It's our last class. Uh, hopefully, we will start the next level soon i'm not sure uh were you guys in the previous module nelly were you in the previous were you in in level number one no uh level two this is my first no oh, this is my first oh, okay all right good good all right 
So welcome back everybody, Nelly, Maria, Cecilia, and Eric. Today is April 2nd. This is our last day, our last class for now. And today we will have a general review about the different uh, topics that we covered uh, in the course. Uh, obviously, we don't have time to go one by one, but we will mention the ones that are the most important. Okay, so in unit one, we were talking about going to. Do you remember the function of going to? People? Mm. No. About the future. Yes. You use going to to talk about the future. So if I say after the class, I'm going to take a shower. After the class, I'm going to eat a hamburger. After the class, I'm going to get some rest. Everything, the, the three examples that I just gave you, we're talking about plans that I have for the future. You can say tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to wake up late. I'm going to cook a delicious breakfast. I'm going to call my sister in Santa Ana to see how she's doing. So you use going to. Now, what is the negative of going to? How do you say, no voy a salir mañana? I'm not I didn't go. But future, future. I'm not going to tomorrow. go out tomorrow. Yes, I'm not going to go out tomorrow. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to watch television all day. I'm going to clean my house. So everything is in future. If the information is negative, like Pamela says, I'm not going to eat breakfast, I'm not going to sleep late, and so on. Um, what if I want to make a question? Are you going to go out tomorrow? Okay, are you going to? Is she going to? Are they going to? So everything is a question. So if you wanna make a question, you have to use verb to be at the beginning. Any questions? Okay, uh, Melvin, can you give me one positive sentence for this weekend, something that you plan to do? I'm going to make two reports at the end of this weekend. Good, I'm going to make two reports. Eric, can you give me an example? Or Nelly? I'm not going to go out in this week because we are in the second phase. Phase. Phase of the coronavirus. Yeah, okay. Maria, can you hear me? I guess not. Cecilia, can you hear me? Well, maybe they just connected and they went to watch television. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me show you an image. It's, it's very, um, very easy to do. Now, where is this? Uh -huh. Computer is kind of slow. All right, so we got this here. Uh, 
Okay, what's the first one? Uh, can you give me a positive sentence with number one? They are going to take the bus. They are going to take the bus. Yes. Where are they? At the bus, At the bus station. Okay, they are at the bus station, they are at the bus stop. They are going to take the bus. What about the second one? Where is this picture? Where is this picture? Where do you think this picture is? Maybe in, in a theater. Theater, maybe. Theater. Maybe in a theater, sure. Any maybe other possible? In uh -huh. Maybe in a school, very good. What else? At work, teacher. Sure, it can be at work. Can it be in at church? Uh -huh, exactly, at church. Yes, maybe it can be mm -hmm. at church. Okay, so can you give me a sentence with the second picture? Anybody? Somebody, anybody? Going to make a speech. Okay, she's going to make a speech. Good. Now, what about picture number three? They are going to travel by plane. Okay, they're going to travel by plane. Very good. Now, what about this one here? Where is this girl? Where is she? In the living room. Good. She's in the living room. What is she doing? She's going to see a film. Good. What does she have in her hand? A remote. Remote control. Remote control. Good. Very good. The remote control. Yes. Do you like the remote control or do you prefer to do it physically? Oh. No. No, with the remote control. <laughs> oh my God. I remember that sometimes I was the remote control of my father. When, <laughs> when televisions were black and white and they were like mechanical, he says, Chico. They call my name. It says, yes, father. It says, change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. But actually, uh, some TVs doesn't have any buttons. Well, in the past, right, right. In, in the past, you know, everything was like very mechanical, physical. And, and you're right. Now some televisions, they don't have anything. No. So it is very uh, sophisticated. Okay. Okay, so picture number four is she's going to see a film. Do you like films? Yeah. What kind of films do you like? <laughs> do you like documentaries? Yeah, movies. Movies? <laughs> Yes, movies. Okay. Do you guys watch Netflix? Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you like Narcos? Yeah. <laughs> Narcos is really cool. Narcos Mexico. Okay. What about... You, you don't like Narcos? No. Okay. Yeah, everybody has different taste. <laughs> I can spend five hours watching Narcos and I, and I like it. Okay, anyways, <laughs> picture number five. Volunteer. She's going to bring, no, she's going to make some coffee. Okay, she's going to make some coffee. She's going to drink some coffee. How much coffee do you guys drink? One cup. Nothing. 
nothing. Oh my goodness. You don't know what you're missing, Pamela. I don't like <laughs> coffee. Okay. Who said one cup? Was it Melvin or Eric? Me, teacher. Oh. Do you put sugar? Morning. You put sugar in your coffee? One little spoon. One little spoon. Good. What about the others? Do you drink coffee? Pamela says she doesn't drink yes. coffee. Who said yes? To me, me. Oh, Nelly. Okay. How much coffee do you uh, drink, Nelly? Two. I say. <laughs> two cups. Two cups. Do you put one in the morning and in the second in the afternoon? Okay, and do you put sugar in it? Yes, one oh, spoon. One spoon, all right. Okay, what about the next picture? They are going to have a baby. They're going to have a baby, yes. How do you know they're going to have a baby? How do you know? Because, because she's pregnant. pregnant. Exactly, because the woman is pregnant. Very good. How many months is she going to be like this? Eight months. Eight months. Eight or eight. nine? Nine or eight. <laughs> well, all the process is nine months. Oh. Supposedly. Hey, no. Hey, no. Okay. What about this one here? Where where is this guy? Where is he? At a department store. Good. He's at the department store. Yes. Which department to be more exact? Simon. Gentleman. Uh, men's, men's department. Ah, men's department. Oh. Men's department. Okay, and, and what is he checking? Ties. Ties, yes. What is the other meaning of ties? Do you remember? <laughs> Tie también significa amarrar. Ya, ya lo habíamos mencionado. Cuando usted le dice al chiquitín que anda corriendo, usted le dice, tie your shoes. Tie your shoes. Oh. Tie your shoes. All right, so what's the answer for that image? She's going to buy a new tie. Good. He's going to buy a new tie. Perfect. What yes, about the sir. next picture? <laughs> Uh -huh. They are going to be rich. They're going to be rich. Yes. They're, they're getting the $300 from the government. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be rich. What about the next picture? Uh huh. Soccer player. Okay, he's a soccer player. How do you know he's a soccer player? Because uh, the ball. And, and, the, and his shoes. Okay. And the uniform. Yes, the uniform. Exactly. Okay. So the uniform, the ball, and the shoes, uh, that tells you that the guy is a soccer player. Now, what is the complete sentence for the exercise? He is going to make a goal. He's to going score to a goal. score a goal. Yes, he's going to score a goal. Okay, so three more and we change activities. What about this one here? What is the complete sentence going to? Anybody, anybody? He's I'm, going to win the race. Yes, he's going to win the race. What about the next picture? 
Anybody? Time is money. They are going to play basketball. Yes. And the last one is... They are going to get married. And they are going to get married. All right. Any questions about the future um, with going to? Can you send this image? Sure, of course. When we finish the session, I can send it to you guys. Or I can send it right now too. Let me see. Okay, now do you remember how many tenses we have in English? La vez pasada contestó Pamela. Ajá, y vuelve a contestar ella. How many tenses? No, oh, está bien. That's good. How many tenses? How many tenses? ¿Cuánto dijo Pamela? Twelve tenses. Twelve tenses. Son doce tiempos gramaticales. I see if I can fix this. So we have twelve grammatical tenses. We got twelve tenses. ¿De cuántos futuros usted ya ha oído? Este es el, uno de los primeros. Have you heard about will. any others? Will. Okay, will has exactly the same function of this one. Hablando. Hola. How do you say me quedaré en casa? I will stay in home. Okay. So you can say I will stay home. Or you can say um, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Okay. Any questions about going to? No. no. Ok, I guess no. not. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver quién se acuerda de esto. Do you remember this picture? Yes. From the oh. school? Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Yeah, so, yeah, I remember my science classes. Ok. So, your mission is to put the names of each organ. What is the name of this one? Brain. Brain. Okay. What about this one here? Lungs. 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 Very good. This is where the coronavirus attacks. It attacks your lungs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And people that smoke, they have more possibilities of being in a more serious situation. Okay, what about this one here? Heart. 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 Uh. This is your heart. What about this one here? Stomach. Stomach. Okay, your stomach. Stomach. Stomach, yes. When you say stomach, C-H sounds like a K. So you say stomach. stomach, stomach, yeah, stomach, okay. What about this one here? Liver. Yes, this is your liver. Yeah, and this here? Kidney. Your kidneys. What about this one here? Long intestine. Large. Large intestine. Large. Yes. <laughs> so the opposite of large is? 
Small. In this case, you say small. En español decimos grueso y delgado. En inglés ocupamos el equivalente a largo y pequeño. Large and small. Okay, so one more time. What's the name of this one? Brain. 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 How do you say brain in Spanish? Cerebro. Cerebro. What's the name of this one? Lungs. 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 Se van a quedar roncos de tanto repetir. Lungs. 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 What is the function of the lungs? Breathe. Yes, the function of the lungs are they give you oxygen. So you breathe. Yes. What about what who's this guy here? Uh, the heart. That's the heart. heart. That's the heart. Does this organ have feelings? No. No. No, it doesn't. We mm -hmm. think that it has feelings, but it's not. It doesn't. What about this one here? What's the name of this one? Liver. Liver. This is? Liver. The stomach. 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 This one here? Riñones in English? Kidney. Kidney. Intestino grueso? Large, Large intestine. Large intestine and intestino delgado? Small intestine. Small intestine. Very good. Y por ahí hay muchos más. Pero por el momento, so these are like the most relevant. The most relevant. Yes. So right now, you have to be extra careful with your lungs. You have to yes. be extra careful with your lungs. What food do they recommend for extra protection? Avocado. Avocado, yes. Um, what else? Juice. What juice? Orange juice. Uh -huh. or, or lemon. Exactly. Ahí le va ahorita, mire, lo que están recomendando que uno coma con esta pandemia. Do you receive the image? Yeah. yeah. What's the first one? Lemon. 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 Number two? Lime. 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 Number three, avocado. 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 Number four is garlic. garlic. How do you say garlic in Spanish? Ajo. Ajo. Ajo, exactly. What is number five? Mango. Mango. Number six? Tangerine. Tangerine. What is tangerine? Mandarin. Yes, tangerine is mandarina. Pineapple. What is pineapple? Piña. Piña. What about the next one? Do you recognize the next one? No. Um, es, es una planta que parece como girasol, pero es todita, María. No sé si aquí Manzanilla. en español. No. Eh, fíjese cómo está escrito en inglés. En español se parece bastante, pero no sé si así le dicen aquí en El Salvador. Mm. Diente de león. Oh, sí. Ok. ¿Así le dicen aquí también? Sí. Ok. And the last one is orange. So look this. Todo esto está al alcance de nosotros. Lemon, lime avocado, garlic, mango, tangerine, pineapple, 
dandelion and orange. Any questions there? Con todas esas uh, comidas, usted va a estar fortaleciendo su your immune system. All right, any questions about the human body? No. No? Any other suggestions that you may have for this emergency? How do you say bicarbonate? Um, oh my God, baking soda. Baking soda. Baking, oh, baking soda. soda with lime. And you drink it? Yeah, yes. in the night. Oh, really? Before, I didn't know. Before go to bed. Oh, so baking soda with lemon. It, it's very good for yeah. your stomach. Really? Ah, oh, that's yes. new for me. Yes. That's new for me. All right. Okay, any other suggestions or recommendations? Mire que aquí en esta batalla toditos estamos en el mismo barco. Hay que compartir a... Uh, yeah. Suggestions, recommendations, advice. Any other suggestions? Es el bicarbonato era nuevo para mí. What is it? Aunque, aunque yo escuché. Vitamina C. Vitamin C. Yeah. Vitamin C. Okay, very good. Melvin, what okay, did you, you hear? ¿Quién está hablando? Nelson. Sí. Okay, Nelson. Lo que pasa es que la otra vez escuché que eso de la combinación del bicarbonato y el limón no era muy recomendable. Why? Porque el, bica, porque el, bica, el limón eh, le quitaba el, eh, la reacción química, me parece, al bicarbonato. Really? Uh -huh. Ok. Quizás moderadamente hay que echarle limón. Claro. Sí. Recomendaban que había que tomarse el bicarbonato disuelto en agua. Uh -huh. ¿no? Pero no combinado con limón. Oh. Así tal... escuché, ¿no? no ok. Sé si se va. Ok. Good, good. Siempre es bueno oír dos, uh, two, two different opinions. Pero para mí era nuevo lo del bicarbonato, ya sea con o sin limón, para mí es nuevo. Very good, nice. All right, any other suggestions? Uh, yo he escuchado otras mezclas, de hecho, he escuchado una que hacen con bicarbonato, limón, vitamina C y vinagre. Pero eso oh. solo se hace en gárgaras. Oh. Y eso es cuando uno ya tiene el virus. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y el, y, el, y el vinagre es rico, tiene un sabor bien bueno. No, pero más bien mm -hmm. eso, eso, teacher, es cuando usted siente demasiado eh, malestar en la garganta y esa tos seca, entonces hay que hacer eso. Ah, mm -hmm. ah. ah, por eso es que dice ya que hay que hacerlas en gargles. Sí, porque realmente lo que hace es que detiene, entonces esto ya no va a la garganta y ya no va a, a los ah, pulmones. Ah, good, good. Cuando uno siente esa sensación de como ahogo Ajá. y quiere toser, no puede toser, entonces hay que hacer eso. Ok. Uh -huh. Good, very good. Good to know. Good to know. Any others? Any other suggestions or recommendations? Um, for mental health, uh -huh. um, últimamente he estado leyendo bastante de que las personas están como sintiendo que les da el virus. O sea, como que de repente dicen que ya les duele la garganta, que se sienten <risa> mal. Que... Entonces, este, hay que evitar ¿verdad? confundir yep. Yeah, realidad yeah. Con, sí. con lo que la mente le, le dice a uno. Sí. Es por el bombardeo de información. Exactly. Entonces, eh, mantener ocupada la mente en otras cosas, leer un libro, escuchar música, eh, seguir un curso, cocinar, hacer ejercicio, para sí, que porque... no tener tiempo de sobrepensar la, la good. situación. Good, very good. Sí, porque ayer que fui al súper y estaba súper lleno, yo nomás entré y sentí que me picaron los ojos. <risa> really? Really? really, really. I imagine, I imagine. Es la misma psicosis que dice Pamela, que, que la gente anda toda alarmada, que quizás nada que ver y uno ya está, 
yo hace como cuatro días me yeah. eché un destornudo y, y, y me hice loco, ¿verdad? Pero también no dejó de pasarse <risa> por la mente. <risa> Uno ya no puede estornudar en frente de la gente porque ya piensan que no tiene coronavirus. Entonces, <risa> ya lo quieren mandar para allá al Saldaña. Yes. All right, good. Okay, so let, let's, re, let's keep in mind all these recommendations um, so we stay healthy and safe. So keep that in mind. Okay, now we go with unit three. With unit three, we were talking about places in the neighborhood. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. We got the supermarket, the theater, the stadium, the firehouse, the hospital, school, museum, Bank, pasto, post office, the park, gas station, a hotel, police station right here, bus station, a cinema, a pharmacy, and we also have a cafe. All right. Uh, any questions about vocabulary? Cafe. Yeah, a cafe. Yes, cafe. Yes. It was a uh, cafeteria. Uh, yes. Um, cafe, it's, a, it's usually related with cafeteria. But if you're talking with a, with a person from the United States and they say, hey, what about tomorrow 2 p.m.? Let's have a meeting in the cafe near your house. So it's normal that people say cafe to make reference to a cafeteria. And cafe is a, is a word that people use in English, but the word is not English. The word is, is, is in Spanish. Okay, now what's the situation right now with the supermarkets in El Salvador? Supermercado. Yeah, the supermarket. Are they empty or full? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, and sometimes the supermarket is not full, but you have to wait in line for your turn because they don't want too many people inside. Yeah. Okay. What can you do in a theater? What can you do? You see a movie. Okay, you see a movie, you see a film. What can you do it at the stadium? Soccer. You watch the soccer. Okay, watch okay. games. Watch, games. watch games. games. Okay, you know or the concert. Yeah. Uh concert, games, um conference, rallies different things okay hospitals hospitals are in um, emergency right now they are in emergency yeah. right now then you have the church and all this all right any questions about the map before we go to the questions Is the vocabulary clear? Yeah. Firehouse, fire, firehouse? Is yeah. La casa de, ¿qué es? No, a firehouse is a fire station. The oh. fire department. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. So whenever there is fire, they said call the, call 911, call the fire department. Okay, any other questions related with the places in the map? No? Okay. Y la diferencia de cinema y, y theater. Okay, um, good question. Uh, where's the cinema? I don't see the cinema. 
Uh, it's uh, next to the pharmacy in on Hill Street. Oh, oh, right here. Yes. Okay. In the cinema, you watch films. You watch movies. In the cinema. In the theater, you see plays. Plays significa obras. So you can see plays. concerts. Opera. Opera, exactly, very good. So in the theater, hay funciones artísticas. Como también pueden pasar un video. En el cinema solamente son videos, películas. So the theater is more cultural. So that's the difference. How do you so say? Theater is teatro. Theater is teatro. Y ahí sacan uh, obras, conciertos, dramas, obras. So, uh, en el teatro. En el cinema son exclusivamente para películas. How do you say eh, obra de teatro? Play. Play. Así como la, la misma palabra que ocupamos para decir jugar, esa misma palabra significa obra. Play. So you can say, hey, look, I have the program here and there is a nice play at the theater. There is a nice play at the theater. Si se dice obra. Okay, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Any other questions about the picture? Yes, the bus station is like a bus stop. No. Bus stations es lo que decimos acá, una terminal de buses. Oh, okay. Yes. Terminal de occidente, del sur, de oriente. ¿Ya fueron a la nueva terminal de oriente? Yeah. Much better than the previous one. It's in Ilopango, uh, Soya Pango. Yeah, it's it's in Soya Pango, but very near Ilopango. It's mm -hmm. like at the border. The border. Yes, border between Soya Pango and Ilopango. Mm -hmm. It's on the Which Boulevard of the Hesito. Right? Yes. yes, and it's yes. new. It's a nice place. It's a nice place. If you compare it with the old one, with the previous one, the previous one was scary. You can walk. Exactly. <laughs> you see like bunkers and you can even yeah. disappear in that place. <laughs> in an old train. <laughs> right. I mean, like, my God, it, it was very... So now it's in a better location. All right, so let's see how much retention you have. Look at the first one. There is a museum in the neighborhood, true or false? True. Yes, it's right there, true. Good boy. <laughs> true, there's a stadium in the neighborhood. Yes. Yes. True, true or false? True, true. okay. True. true. Number three, there aren't any schools in the neighborhood. True or false? I don't think that false, false. There is one. School. Yes, the answer is false. Ahí está, mire, se había escondido para que no la vieran. School. So it's false. What about number four? There are two gas stations in the neighborhood. True or false? False. There's false. false. Why, why is it false? There is only one. Exactly, very good. There is only one, nice. There is a hotel in the neighborhood. True or mm -hmm. false? I think it's true. You think it's true? Alguien más? True or false? I don't I remember. Aha. Uh -huh. What happened to your retention? 
<laughs> okay, so the answer is true. There is a hotel. All right. And the hotel is right here. Kistami. What color is the hotel? Yellow. Yellow. Uh huh. And what is behind the hotel? Gas station. Gas station. What is in front of the gas station? Stadium. Stadium. And next to the stadium? The theater. The theater. What is next to the theater? To the left? Supermaker. The supermarket. What is in front of the supermarket? A church. church. The hospital? Yes, the a church hospital. and a hospital. What is across the street from the church? Firehouse. Firehouse. Okay. And across the street from the firehouse? The police. Okay, a police station. What is across the street from the police station? The bus, the bus station. The bus station. Very good. Nice. So that was unit three. And here is the last one. De todo lo que vimos, lo más relevante, lo que más tiene que ponerle atención es al going to y a este pasado. Es algo que usted va a ocupar toda su vida. Going to and simple past. Son 12 los tiempos gramaticales. Going to es uno de ellos, que es el, 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 el futuro simple y el pasado simple. Ambos son de mucha demanda. Por tanto, usted tiene que estar muy, muy familiarizado con ellos. Ok, so let's have a, a check right here. Here we have a list of irregular verbs. Son verbos irregulares. Uh, ¿Cómo se caracterizaba el verbo irregular, dijimos, para llevarlo de presente a pasado? Irregular. Yeah, irregular. It changed completely. Okay, well, it, it changes. Yes. Generalmente cambia. No siempre, pero una gran mayoría siempre cambia. Porque hay algunos que se quedan lo mismo presente y en el pasado. Pero son contados, son muy contados. La gran mayoría cambia. ¿Qué dijimos? que? What's the meaning of bring? Traer. 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 Hear. Escuchar. Can you hear me? Oír. Ajá. Oír. Read. Leer. Leer. Speak. Eh. Hablar. Hablar. Understand. Entender. Entender. Forget. Olvidar. Have. Tener. Tener. Lose. Perder. Perder. Swim. Nadar. Uh -huh. Give. Dar. Dar. Become. Uh, convertirse. Ok, convertirse o llegar a ser. Por ejemplo, en la 11 le dice, a la edad de 23, ella se convirtió en maestra. O a la edad de 23, ella llegó a ser maestra. So become puede ser convertirse o llegar a ser. Uh, no. No. Saber. Saber o conocer. conocer. Ajá. Conocer. Saber y conocer. Tell. Decir o contar. Ok. What's the difference between say and tell? I think uh, say is for um, someone talking. No importa si es a alguien o, o, o qué. Y tell, entiendo que es como decírselo a alguien. Ok. Yes. Tell es cuando usted se lo está diciendo directamente a alguien. Say es cuando lo está diciendo de manera general, pero no dirigiéndose a alguien en particular. Lend. Prestar. 
Uh -huh. Dar prestado. Dar prestado. Yes. Drink. Beber. Beber. Sleep. Dormir. Dormir. And the last one is keep. Mantener. 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 Okay, good. So let's go to the next one. The past tense of bring. Brought. Brought. Uh -huh. Ajá. Tiene que ir ahí con papel y lápiz escribiéndolo si no se lo sabe. The past tense of bring is brought. Here. Here. Heard. 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 Para llevármelo de presente a pasado, solamente le voy a poner una D al final y ya digo, yo oí una nueva canción en el radio. The past tense of read. 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 Speak. Spoke. Understand. Understood. Understood. Forget. Got. Forgot. Have. 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 Lose. Have. Lose. The past tense lost. of lose. Lost. How do you lost. spell lost? L-O-S-T. Very good. Para conjugar swim y llevármelo a pasado, solamente le voy a quitar la I y le voy a poner una A. So the past tense of swim is swim. 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 Si usted se fija, casos como swim, here, muchas veces solamente una letra va a ser toda la diferencia entre el presente y el pasado. En algunos casos, el verbo va a cambiar completamente. No se va a parecer nada en su forma pasado que en el uh, presente. Uh, give, gave, 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 become, gave. Became. Became. became, became, know, knew, knew. knew. tell, told. told, lend, hacemos lo mismo, le quitamos una, la de, Y le ponemos una T, T de tango. Lent. Lent. Entonces, ¿usted cómo va a decir? Yo te presté 10 dólares. I lent you 10 dólares. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hey, I lent you 10 dólares. Don't forget. Pay me. <laughs> Pay me, exactly. Uh, 15, drink. Drunk. Drink. Drink, drink, drunk. Drink. Drink. Suena como una E. Usted lo escribe con una A, pero suena una E. Y usted dice drink. Drink. Yes. Eh, when is drunk? What es pasado is... participio. That's another subject. Yes. It's a different okay. story. Eh, ese lo vamos a ver en unos dos, quiero ver, no, en, en unos dos meses vamos a entrar en materia con, con el pasado participio. Pero no es malo que lo sepa. Drink, drink, drunk. Puede ser el pasado participio y puede ser un adjetivo. Usted puede decir, él está bolo. He is drunk. Es un adjetivo. The past tense of sleep. Slept. 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 And the past tense of keep? Kept. 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 Very good. Nice. Any question? Questions, questions? No. Okay, let me see this here. Ta -da -da. Donde es que están? Ya, ya los perdí. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Shh. 
Miren que ya los perdí. No me acuerdo cómo hacer para... To get you back. <laughs> okay, can you see me? Yes. You can see me. No. Ustedes sí me ven. Sí. Yes, I can see. Okay, good. All right. So, like I was telling you, eh, hay que hay que darle seguimiento al proceso de la inscripción. Entre más rápido logramos completar los documentos que nos están pidiendo, pues más rápido vamos a volver a empezar. Entonces, si hay alguien que tiene alguna duda referente al proceso, puede dirigirse directamente a la, a la persona de parte de Inglés Corporativo que nos está dando siempre apoyo. Ellos saben exactamente cuál es unos, el proceso a seguir ahorita. Yo les soy honesto, ahorita desconozco cuál es el proceso, pero ellos con toda seguridad, o si usted lo llega a contactar, ellos le van a decir exactamente qué es lo que tiene que presentar. Así que como les voy a repetir, entre más rápido agilizamos eso, pues más rápido volvemos a, a, a iniciar. Para mí ha sido un gran placer haber trabajado con ustedes. Eh, pueda que empecemos este lunes que viene, puede que sea de este lunes al otro. Todo lo Dios sabrá y pues independientemente seguimos en la clase o no, pues a, a seguir con esta batalla que es de todos nosotros y pues hacer todo lo que está en nuestro alcance para poder salir de esta situación en la que se encuentra el país. Yes, teacher, thank you. Ok, so thank you very much. Fue un placer haber trabajado con ustedes. Espero tener you, una oportunidad en el futuro. So thank you very much and thank you um, for your time. All right, very good. Thank you very much and take care of your families. Thank you, you too. Bye bye, bye, -bye. take care. Thank you, bye bye. bye, -bye.